Nova's Flight Simulator is an upcoming flight simulator which I, along with many other people, believe will have incredible potential. The game was available to the public to test and film for one day and here is what I found out and have to show you. Starting off, the menu is very simple but it is easy to navigate. A small news will change the section in the top corner, a takeoff, ATC and settings button. The menu music is very nice and just from the cinematic playing in the background I have very high hopes. Settings and ATC don't work as of yet but once you get to takeoff you will find only one playing, the Airbus A320. Do not take this in a bad way though. The AV20 is very detailed and there are aspects of it that even the Project Flight developers say are spot on. These include the nose of the aircraft and more. Instantly, that is very good news and shows us that we may expect more highly detailed aircraft in the future. Moving on to the livery picking section, there are 14 liveries. That isn't the cool part though. At the bottom, you can pick sharklets and fences or between the CFM and IAE engines. This level of customization is fantastic and it is something I would like to see in Project Flight which currently has them pre-picked for you. Small bugs are expected as the game is very early development, for example, the Delta livery is slightly broken with the logo flipped. Any bugs found today will most likely be fixed by the game's release, so please do not get any bad impressions. Now that we have picked our plane, let's spawn in. We have a choice of two airports, Skiafos and St. Martin. To spawn a plane, you have to move around and then click on a gate. Once you have picked, you confirm the choice and you spawn in. To change the cameras, you press V. To set flaps, you press F. And to set spoilers, you press T. To turn on lights, you do N for navigation lights, M for strobe lights, L for landing lights or taxi lights, and K for logo lights. You press Q to get control over the plane. Taxiing is easy and you can get power quite quickly. Turning is nice and smooth and it breaks quite well too. It is quite sensitive, however, after you pass 60 knots, the controls get less sensitive so that you can take off with ease. Some aspects of the game that I like are during takeoff and landing, it will be more difficult for you to take off than if you had your flaps extended. Here I am, taken off without flaps and I cannot take off even at 170 knots. Meanwhile, while flaps are down, I take off at 140 knots without a problem. The map has two islands for now, both of them are very simple and only have a couple buildings on them. In my opinion, the clouds look a bit cartoonish and I am not sure that they fit the game. The planes and islands are really good and I feel like some work could be done to redo the clouds. During the landing, I was overcorrecting a lot but decided to continue. I armed my spoilers by double pressing T and deployed my flaps and gear. Arming my flaps will not extend them for now, but rather once I touch down, which is how it should be. Unfortunately, there are no buildings at Skiafos, however, we do have this cool low approach. Let's try to land low and slow. That was a decent landing. No tire smoke, unfortunately. Maybe in the future? I must admit, it took me a few flights to get used to the controls, but if you are nice and gentle, the plane will fly very well. I am very impressed by how the game performs and how it looks. There are a few bugs, such as planes falling to the ground, but as this is the first iteration of the game, testing has not been very thorough, and time has not been given to fix things like this. I believe this game will be a great competitor to PTFS, Flightline, and Project Flight. I was honestly very excited to try this game and cannot wait to see what else comes in the future. If you are watching this video within the first 8 hours of uploading, you might still have a chance to play it. I hope you enjoyed this video and game review. If you'd like to see me try any other games, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, see you soon.